Round one then of the World 500cc Motocross Championship kicks off here at Payerne in Switzerland. And as you can see by circuit conditions, a lot of heavy overnight rain has turned the circuit into quite a quagmire. There the Chesterfield ladies make their way off the start as the riders prepare themselves for he won. Gate drops, who's it gonna be? 27, that was Cavatorta up the inside, the Italian. But already we've got one or two on the deck. The British rider Jeremy Watley being one of them, but it's Joel Smets. Smets it is on the Vertamati that gets the whole shot and takes the lead. Number five on Kawasaki, that's Johan Boonen. George Chauvet, former world motocross champion, going through on the new FN Job Hondas. Six, that's Daryl King, the New Zealander, starting off the season on the red Honda. Into the lead there goes number 56, that's Van Dorn, and with the defending champion, Jackie Martins, on the Husqvarna, right behind him. As the rest of the pack comes screaming through, it's still Boone in there, number five, in a good point scoring position, as they sort themselves out in the ruts and the mud that you can see here. 100, that's the American, Ron Lejeune. But it's 56 there. Van Dorn. Conditions very, very treacherous. 98, Billy Lyles, the American on Honda for 1994. Changing up from the 250 squad from last year into the 500s for this year. But it's Van Dorn then winning the first Grand Prix leg of the year. Billy Lyles, second, then Wustenrad, Martins and Boonen. Well, some hasty circuit repairs going on here as the five-second board goes up for Heat 2. Van Dorn, the winner of Heat 1, and that's Wooster the Rod, 22, that looks to have taken the whole shot. Very, very slippery on that first corner. Someone's gone down, but it's Wooster the Rod. From Hansen, the Swede, Boonen. There's Van Dorn. We're looking back for Martins, 98, Billy Lyles, and Martins getting a terrible start off that one. But Hansen. 24-year-old Swede on the Honda chasing Wustenrad second. 65, that was Shane King, the brother of Daryl King, in third, but it's Wustenrad who leads at the moment. Then it's Hansen. There's King going through. This is interesting. There's Boonen. He's in fourth. But Wustenrad, 22. Settling himself down. We're looking back. There's Hansen and there's King beginning to close down on those two. A bit of an unknown quantity, this Shane King. Van Dorn, 56. And somebody's in trouble, that's Jackie Martins. Well, disaster in heat two for the defending champion. And King has taken the lead. Well, how about that? The New Zealander, Shane King, goes into the lead, deposes the leader, Wustenrad and Hansen. There's Hansen under pressure from Van Dorn. Can Van Dorn get round him? Well, almost leaning on each other as they got there, and Van Dorn does. But young Shane King really surprising everybody here. He wins. He too. Anstey goes through a back marker. There's Wustenrad finishing second. Well, the overall results and Shane King finishing third, Ronnie Wustenrad in second, but it's Gertjan van Dorn takes the first overall win.
Round two of the World 500 Series comes to Austria and Sittendorf. The machine there, number six of Daryl King, changing from Hondas back to Kawasaki, and now a lot happier for it. Ronnie Houston, the Rads, machine there, number one, the machine of the defending champion, the Husqvarna of Jackie Martins. As race one gets underway, here they come. 500cc, two strokes, and 600cc plus four strokes. It's Franco Rossi, the Italian, number 15. Mervyn Anstey and Jörl Smets on the drop Bertamati. There's Martins. 106, that's Billy Lyles, a change of number for, the, for round two. But Anstey, second, holding off Schmetz on the Bertamati. Hansen going through, Rudy van Lerwin. And there is the defending champion, Martins. But it was Schmetz that came through and took the win. Martins chased through to take second. Race two gets underway. Marcus Hansen, the Swede, took third in race one. And here they go into that first corner. And it is Hansen from Schmetz. And Schmetz has picked up some trackside tape. That'll wrap around his rear wheel. Van Leeuwen was there in third. As the rest of the pack, there's number nine, Jeremy Watley. Recovering from that crash in Switzerland. But it's Schmetz on the drop. Berta Matti that leads from Marcus Hansen, the Swede, then Rudy van Lerwin, and then it's the defending champ, Jackie Martins. Schmitz, first of the two big four strokes going through. Martins now up to second. They really are dominating here today at Sittendorf. One and two in the first race, and it looks like they're going for the same in race two. Schmitz puts the power down, hangs on to the bike, but there is Martins. Second still for the defending champion. But Schmetz went on then to win race two. Jackie Martins chased him home in second. Third, it was Ziggy Barra. Round three of the championship comes to Bally Kelly here in Ireland. And a beautiful scenic circuit it is as well. The Irish have worked extremely hard to provide us with some excellent racing conditions. Very sandy as heat one got underway. Into that first right-hander. It's number seven, Gerald Delarpine from Marcus Hansen, number four. 75, that's... Van Dorn, 99, Billy Lyles on a change of machine now, joining the Georges Jobet outfit, the FN Belgacom contingent, as we, we should say. Seven, Delapine, another one of the Belgacom riders. There is Lyles, 99. He's got Schmetz right behind him on the drop for Tomati, and there's Martins, the defending champion. Number four, Marcus Hansen it is, as he takes the big 500 through the whoops. Delapine, Van Dorn, then it is Schmetz, and Martins are right behind him. Settling down into the pace of race one. Martins looking for a way past Schmetz, but Hansen it is, number four, that leads race one here in Ireland. And look at this, Martins moves up to second. Down goes Van Dorn to third, then it's Schmetz fourth. Delapine is fifth and Lyles is sixth. The two Belgacon riders there in fifth and sixth position. 
Very distinctive with those side panels on the bike for maximum advertising space. But it's Hanson the Swede. As they battle through Van Dorn. Second now for Van Dorn, so we've lost Martin somewhere. It's a win then for Marcus Hansen, number four. He takes the 20 points. Second then for Joel Smets, taking 17. And third for Gert Jan Van Dorn. Jackie Martin's machine failure denying him a place in, in this race. Billy Lyles there and Boonen as we join the presentation. There you are, Schmetz, it is Van Dorn and Hansen. He too, the gate drops, here they come. Hansen, it looks, going to the front. Number four, the Swede, but it's Boonen on the Kawasaki with Martins. 39, that's James Marsh. Well, that's a good one for him. He's got Schmitz and Hansen behind him as the rest of the pack sort themselves out. But great position for young James Marsh. Mervyn Anstey, number 12, and there is Daryl King on that change of bike. As the rest, look at them. And Billy Lyles, a bad start for him on the gas, trying to force his way through to get up in some decent points. But it looks like Martins has taken the lead. Jackie Martins, well, what can you say? There's Schmetz on the other four stroke, but Martins, a DNF in race one with no point score with a machine failure, but it's certainly making up in race two. And Boonen and Hansen. Locking up handlebars again. But Hansen at the moment second. Boone and third, but the leader, Jackie Martins. The tall Belgium. Absolutely superb and in control. It's Hansen goes to second then. Schmetz third. Looking back behind Schmetz. There's Ronnie Uston, the rod, number 22. Well, that makes him fourth. As you can see here, big downhill leaps. The Irish crowd turned out in their multitude as Martins takes second race win and the 20 points, his only score of the day. Second then for Marcus Hansen. And third, it should be Yul Smets on that drop Vertomati. Jackie Martins gets his first win of the day, Schmetz and Hansen it is. And the overall then goes to Marcus Hansen. Stone Park, England for round four of the World 500 Motocross Championship. And circuit conditions here, absolutely excellent. A deep sand circuit here in Shropshire as Joel Smets on the Vertimati leads the riders out onto the line. Jackie Martins there, number one, the defending champion, out second. Making final preparations as the five second board spins around. Reasonable sized crowd here to enjoy this 500 Grand Prix racing. Settle themselves down as the gate drops. And away they go into the avenue for the first time. And the defending champion, the Husqvarna factor rider, Jackie Martins, goes into the lead. Smets amongst that group as they come through. A little wet. Bit of overnight rain, number four. Marcus Hansen, the Swede, up the infamous Hawkstone Hill. It's Martin Zen from number 23, Carlo Hulsen. Then three, Schmetz on the second of the big four strokes. Looking behind that, it's 19, that's Rudy Van Lerwin. But Martins really has the measure here. Hulsen 
hangs on desperately to second place, but now being closed down by Schmetz. But Martins is a man on a mission, wants to retain that championship for 1994. And it looks like Schmetz has found a way past Carlo Hulsen. Indeed he has. Hulsen goes down to third. Van Lerwin still there in fourth. We're looking back behind fourth place man into the deep gluttonous sand here at Hawkstone and that's 73, that's Billy Lyles, the American. But Martins, the factory four stroke, really at home here in these deep, well, sticky conditions. We've had quite a bit of overnight rain prior to the event, which uh, changed the track considerably. And the second four stroke man goes through, that's still Smets. Still Carla Hulson. But Martins has this sewn up, barring a mechanical failure or an uncharacteristic mistake through those infamous whoops here at Hawkstone Park, feared by many a Grand Prix rider over the years and has claimed many a rider, including a few world champions. It is Martins then that takes the first heat, 20 points. Second, Yule Smets. And third, it looks like Carlo Hulson. Well, with Heat 1 safely away, Martin's taking the win, Schmidt second, and Carla Hulsen third. There is Hulsen 23 with Marcus Hansen beside him. He too prepares to get underway. Gate drops, here they come. Up into the tree line veranda for the uh, first time, the only time that part of the circuit is used. And it is Jackie Martins, the Belgium, clears off again. There is Hansen behind him in third. Couldn't quite pick up second place, man, but we'll check next time through. They really are getting their heads down, but here's the leader coming down the steep hill. It altered slightly, but it's made it even more difficult than it was before. Schmetz, he's second. Third is Hansen. And that's Hulson with Ronnie Ustenrad behind him, number 22. But Jackie Martins, dominant here at the Sandy Circuit here in England. Hawkstone Park, famous and infamous throughout the years. A circuit known by many a rider. Marcus Hansen, number four, the Swede. Picks his way gingerly through those deep ruts. But Martin's making no mistake whatsoever at the front. Smets on the second of the four strokes, trying to catch him. Up the big hill comes Martin's yet again. Completed another lap. Here's Schmetz. Already passing back markers. Well, Carlo Hulsen is still there and he's still got Austin Rad behind him. But it is the checkered flag then for Jackie Martins. He saw and he most certainly can't pick going home with 40 points in the bag. That's it for the checkered Well, round five here, Arco in 
Italy and the 500 series continues and here we are high up in the northern mountains of Italy and a superb track fast man in time training this morning number six the New Zealander here Daryl King changing to Kawasaki's after the first round where he rode Honda's 27 that's Cavatorta in the background 19 Rudy van Leeuwen 106 Billy Lyle 22 Veroni Ustenrad, the five second board spins around and the gate drops. Here we go. Oh, someone left on the line. Couldn't see who it was. It might be a good start for him. It's Gerald Delapine, number seven, from George Chauvet. And Hansen's there. There's Van Lerwin. No sign of Schmitz or Martins, but we can hear him. There's King, six. But it's Chauvet and Marcus Hansen, now from Schmitz. So positions are changing. Christian Vernon there, the British rider, based and races mostly in Belgium. Number 43, so four, Marcus Hansen takes the challenge at the front from Schmetz. And the former world champion, Georges Jobet, won it in 1992. Number one there, the defending champ, Jackie Martin. It's not a good start for him. He's going to have to work hard for Hansen. The Swede, 24 years of age, and really beginning to set this championship alight. Three, Schmetz on that Bertamati. Then it's Joe Bay, then Burnham. This is a good ride from the uh, Britishman. Schmetz now first. Hansen chasing second. What can the Swede do against the Belgium? Joe Bay. He's got Christian Burnham there right with him. And that's Martins. Look at the tailpipe on that Husqvarna. It looks very, very loose. Jacket flag then for Jolsmetz. And now becoming quite a traditional sight, doing a wheelie at the end. And Martins comes through, but minus that rear tailpipe. Schmetz winning the first one then. Lyle's in there as well, but Martin's a bit of controversy over that tailpipe of his. Silence, it came off, but here we go. Heat two, and that is Ronnie Huston, the rod, 22, that looks to have got away in front. Yes, indeed. Here he comes. The Belgium, Huston, the rod, from Jeremy Watley, the British rider. Then it's uh, Boot, no, Daryl King. 15 is Rossi. There's Mervyn Anstey. And Martins and Hansen and Schmetz. All together, so not a good start for Smets, but Wustenrod really is going for gold in this one. Jeremy Watley on the renegade Honda, then it's Darrell King. He was the quickest man in time training. Rossi, then it's Hanson, but look at Wustenrod. Man on a mission, wants to score some maximum points. Darrell King, the New Zealander, much happier now he's back on Kawasaki. Watley under pressure from Rossi. And Hansen, three Hondas in a row. Hansen has come through to take the checkered flag then. It's Marcus Hansen from Rossi and Billy Lyles. Round six here in Slovakia and a very wet Slovakia it is as well. A lot of overnight rain and it's raining again this morning as you can see by the dampened green flag as the first race gets underway. The gate will drop. Here they come. And this is going to be all about who can slip and slide around the first corner. Oh, there's no holding them back. They really are going for this. And it is the British rider Mervyn Anstey that has got the whole shot. Well, he looks to be about the cleanest at the moment. 
Ronnie Oosterrod, there is Schmetz. Rudy van Lerwen going through. Jackie Martins, Christian Burnham. Not a good start for Martins. And that's Billy Lyle, 67. That's Lyle's S indeed. He's up to second. Anstey leading. Sponsored by Bike Sport of Newcastle. Gavin Lynch got the owner, but Lyle's there. Second, and well, we're looking back. Oh, big slide there from Rossi. There's Hansen, and that's Jeremy Watley. It really is a question of staying on the bike. Three, Schmetz. As you can see, conditions getting very, very slippery. Jackie Martins, unrecognizable almost, apart from the number on his back. Rudy Van Lerwen goes through behind him, but the leader at the moment is Mervyn Anstey from Great Britain. Billy Lyles, the American, right in the FN, oh, very nearly off the FN. Well, there's somebody that's in trouble. Well, a lot of trouble. He's going to have to go to the bottom of that hill to get back up again, if indeed he can then. It is so wet, raining hard here. And into the lead goes Rossi. Well, Franco Rossi, the Italian, obviously uh, quite happy in these slippy conditions. Anstey hangs on the second, but there's Rossi again. Oh, very nearly wasn't Rossi. All oh, legs akimbo, a lot of shouting going on there from Anstey to the uh, back marker that is overtaking. And Billy Lyle's third now, 67 on his back for this one. Marcus Hansen, number four. And the Swede. Well, he should know his way around a wet track. Jackie Martins. Maybe that big four-stroke, a bit of a handful in these wet conditions. Jeremy Watley, number nine, the British rider. On a Honda. Sponsored by the computer company Renegade. Up the top of the hill, you can see they're just about managing to get grip as they go over there. All over the place. Just look at this. This will be Rossi. He leads and he takes... First heat win, that's 20 points in the mud. And Mervyn Anstey, this will be his best result of the year so far for the British rider. He's second. Looking back, well, there's Hansen. He's third. And just look at that for a mud pack. And look at that for a muddy machine. An awful lot of hard work put in by the mechanics in the interval between the races to get them machines clean. There's the bike of Jackie Martins, and it's a non-starter for heat two. We've had a rider boycott for the second heat. They reckon the conditions are too dangerous. So Smets, Martins, and Hansen's non-starters. And it's 28, then Miroslav Kuracek, the Czechoslovakian rider that's gone to the lead. Anstey is second. Another great ride here from the British rider. Behind Anstey, well, that, I think, was uh, Dujon riding the Honda. And then, well, we've got to sort this one out because they're all covered in mud. That is Cavatore to 27. Yes, indeed, you can wave your yellow flag, sir. I should imagine there are lots of people on the ground. Into the lead goes Anstey. It is so slippery. Got about six of the top riders deciding not to contest this last race of the day because they think the conditions just aren't worth it. Kyriak there is in second behind Anstey. Oh, look at this. Dujon goes up the hill. Oh, it's absolutely horrendous. And look, Rudy Van Leeuwen. Well, Jack, he found a bit of grip from somewhere. I don't know where it was. And uh, Cavatorta looks back to thinking to himself, well, where did he get that from? And it is Anstey. Leading and heading towards his best ever World Grand Prix result in his career of racing, Anstey takes first and first overall.
Round seven of the championship moved to Holland and no one could stop Jackie Martins. Currently third in the championship, winning both races back to back. That was 40 points, but it still wasn't enough to take him into a championship lead. Round eight of the 500 championship comes to France as the riders make preparation for the start of heat one. Joel Smets then down onto the line with Daryl King from New Zealand and Marcus Hansen on the far side of that group. The green flag goes up, the board is up and the gate drops. Here they come then, heat one. And it's James Marsh, 39, the Englishman, who's got a tremendous start. Unbelievable. Well, that's got to be the best gate the Marsh has had this season so far. He's got Billy Lyles, Hansen, and uh, Daryl King behind him. But James Marsh, well, I don't know what he had for breakfast, but whatever it was, don't share it with the rest. Schmetz is there. 18 going through. That's Pink Noti. There's Gherkins and Jakobs, 34. On the Husenberg, 27, Cabot Torta. Well, indeed, there's Brian Wheeler, number 10, on the uh, Mako. That's the uh, Wolfsport Mako. So it is Marsh at the moment. There's Hansen, Schmetz, and Lyles. And there is the defending champion, Jackie Martins. Not a good start for him. Well, Daryl King has found a way past Marsh. Now he's got Hansen on his back door, so... The British rider will nevertheless a fantastic start to the first race for Great Britain. King, and now Hansen the Swede, the man that heads the championship at the moment. Schmetz has come through to third. Marsh dropping back to fourth. Well, that's certainly creditable for him at the moment. Well, that was Martins behind that group. There is Billy Lyles, the American on the FN. Joe Honda's 43, Christian Burner. Now he's had another good start. But the New Zealander, Daryl King, is away at the moment on the Kawasaki in the lead. Being chased by this man, Marcus Hansen. First of the four strokes. Smets on the Vertimati. But Daryl King, he's happy at the moment. One would describe as a chuck from Kiwi. Hansen chasing second. Smets can't do anything about those two in front. It's a very fast track here in France. Very, very quick. And the checkered flag for Daryl King then. Second for Marcus Hansen. That's 17 points. 15 points for the Belgium. Joel Smets. Heat two then, comes up onto the line and Daryl King there in your picture beside James Marsh and Mervyn Anstey. Up goes the board, up goes the music. Well, it really is party time here at this 500 in France. And the music plays literally throughout the whole race, so it really is a get up and boogie time. And they're off. Got a couple on the floor, can't see who they are at the moment. Oh, Martins! And Rossi, those are two of them. And he's that Schmetz on the far side. Well, Marsh has got another blistering start. Rudy Van Lerwin is there with him. There's Marcus Hansen. Ronnie Huston, the, rod, the Belgian 22. But Marsh, well, whatever it is that he had for breakfast, certainly don't share it with the rest. He absolutely blistering starts for him. Two in a row, whole shots to James Marsh. There's George Obey with Dirk Gherkins. And Daryl King, winner of Heat 1, way, way down. Schmetz fighting his way through from that start fall. And, oh, he's gone down again. Front wheel washed out, put a little bit of too much power in the back wheel, and that was that. Dumps the Vertimati on the floor. It is Marcus Hansen, then, that has found his way to the front in Heat 2. Then Rudy Van Lerwin, second. Ronnie Ustenrod, 22, third. Then Marsh going through. Then that's George Chauvet, the former world champion, number 31. Gherkins is also there. There's Martins. Another 
Dutch start line baller, 34 Chris Jacobs, but the leader is with us now, Marcus Hansen, number four. Wustenrod looks to have gone up into second. Lerwin now dropping back to third, so nobody has a secure position at the moment. Joe Bay on the Belgacom machine, that's the sponsor, the FN Job Hondas. Jacket flag then for number four, championship leader and second heat winner, Marcus Hansen. Wustenrod finishing second, and then Joe Bay finishes third. Round nine then here in Portugal and Jackie Martins unable to get to the top of the championship. He's displaced Smets. He now has second in the championship. Smets is down to third. Daryl King, a non-starter here. He's broke a sternum in France previously. And that man, Rudy Van Leeuwen there, he's got a broken collarbone, which he picked up in practice here yesterday. So as the machines are prepared, for the start of Heat 1, Joel Smets, as we said, now third in the championship because Martins has moved up just one place, chasing that elusive leader of the championship, number four, Marcus Hansen. Well, it might be the day today for Martins. As the board goes up, any moment, the gate will drop, and here they come. Who's it going to be to that first corner? Oh, Hansen. Made a good start, that was Marsh on the outside again. Well, he's on that magic fluid, but there's a whole pile of riders everywhere. Up on the fencing, but it's Hansen. Hansen, the Swede, goes into the lead. That is Martins third, but it's Hansen. That's the man that Martins is trying to catch. Second for 74, Danny Thabers. There's Wustenrod, he's fourth behind Martins, but Thabers, the man that's keeping them. There's Schmetz, what's well, a bad start for Schmetz. But Hansen, he leads the championship. Here comes Martins. Martin needs to finish in front of Hansen to try and whittle that points advantage away. Thabers still going through, another rider with the Job FN Belgacom squad, but Hansen, well, he is determined to avenge his fellow countryman Jorgen Nielsen, who suffered the defeat at the hands of Jackie Martins in the 93 championship at the last round. Oh, Wusterrad stalled it there. He got it started again, but it looks as if he lost a place. Well, I can hear the big four strokes going through, but I can't see the rider. I can only assume that that was Smets. Brian Wheeler, number 10, riding the German Mako. And it hasn't been the happiest of seasons so far for a young Wheeler. But it is Hansen. There is Martins, right behind him. Martins so desperately wants to win. He has got to finish in front of Marcus Hansen. It really is imperative to start edging back those points is lost. Danny Thabers, 74. He's still there and still racing. There's Schmetz. He's dropped down just a little bit. Unhappy with things at the moment as he winds that Vertimati up around this Portuguese track. And look at this, Martins. 
He's got the lead. Martins has managed to find his way past Hansen. Well, that's 20 points against 17. That'll be a three points chipping off of uh, Marcus Hansen's lead in the championship. If he can just stay there. Jackie Martins coming through then to take the checkered flag and a celebratory wheelie in doing so. His team are happy with that result. He can do no better than win. And it was 22 then, Ronnie Ustenrad that finished second. So where was Hansen? There he is, Hansen was third. And Hansen, I think, got rear wheel breaking up. Yes, indeed, Hansen's rear wheel started to break up. That's the reason why he dropped back for third. But Martins took the win. He too comes down onto the line as the locals get out the cameras and take those memorable shots of top World Grand Prix racers on the line. Here they come. Well, everybody moves back on that first corner. I'm not surprised, it's pretty tight. They're going up the banks, they're going everywhere. Well, someone's on the floor, can't see who it is. Well, he seems to be uninjured, but it is Hansen who has the whole shot. Then it's Smets. Where's Martins? That's the question we've got to ask. There's Wustenrod, there's Martins. Back in fourth, Danny Tansty, Danny Thavers, Chris Jacobs. A whole gaggle of riders coming through behind that group. 43, Christian Burnham. He's had some good results through the season so far. At last, the British are beginning to breed more than just a small handful of top 500 CC class riders. Herman Anstey, Jeremy Watley, two of our top 500 boys, but we've got some new ones coming through, which is really great to see. And it is Schmetz. The Vertomati four-stroke riders found a way past Hansen on the Honda, then it's Martins third, then Ustenrad fourth. Now, can Jackie Martins get past Hansen? Or will he experience another rear-wheel problem? Well, no, this time it's the turn of Ronnie Ustenrad that suffered rear-wheel problems. Well, this circuit really claiming some victims at the moment as far as the rear wheel breakups are concerned. Smets, he leads. Hansen, still second. And it's Martins on that thundering Husqvarna that's third. Now, can he find a way again past Hansen? Well, we'll see. Smets has taken the win. It was Martins then second, and Hansen finished third. Round 10 from Luxembourg, and no change at the top. Still Marcus Hansen that leads the championship from Jackie Martins and Joel Smets. 78 comes down onto the line. Danny Thabers it is. Quickest in time training as the gate prepares to drop. Here they come. Are we going to see another James Marsh hole shot? Maybe not. Around that first corner they go. It seems to be safely around the corner. Whoa, I can't. Mervyn Anstey it is, they've got the whole shot. Jackie Martins was second, trying to pick them out as they came through. But Martins chasing the British rider Anstey. There's Chris Jacobs, 34. He's on the Bussenberg, he's third. But it is Jackie Martins. And Hansen, not a good start for the Swede. Martins it is then leads. He needs to keep winning. It's still Hansen that leads the championship. Hansen is now up to second. And we're looking back for third. That's Peter Dirks. And look at this, Joel Smets already retired with a broken rear wheel. He changed the wheel and came back out on the circuit, but he's not in the points. Fourth, 
It's Mervyn Anstey, the British rider, number 12. Martins then takes the 20 points, race win. Marcus Hansen taking second, 17 points, keeps him at the top of the championship. Tremendous result then, fifth for James Marsh, our hold shot expert from England in the first race. Let's see what I can do in race two. Gate drops, here they come, who's it going to be? It was Martins and Hansen, first and second in race one. What can Smets do? No score at all in race one, but it is Hansen who has the lead. Hansen, there is Martins. Well, we're trying to sort these ones out. There's Schmetz. He's got Delapine on the inside of him. But Marcus Hansen, the Swede, obviously trying to avenge that first race lost to Martins. Now, can Martins come back at him? Here he is. Reverse rolls in race two. 78, that's Thabers going through. Danny Thabers. That looks like Schmetz behind him. But the horns are sounding here for this man. Marcus Hansen, 24 years of age, leading the championship from Jackie Martins. Then it looks like Schmetz, indeed it is. 80, that's Gert van Dorn there. And he's got Danny Thabers behind him. There is really a titanic tussle opening up between those three. Hansen in the lead goes through. We're looking back for Martins, there he is doesn't seem to be able to do anything about the Honda riders lead at the moment. Schmetz, so we've got four strokes, second and third. There's Van Dorn, he's got Weber still there with him, 81, that is behind Peter Dirks. And Marcus Hansen then takes the checkered flag for a reverse race condition. Martins finishing second. Third, it was Schmetz. Hansen took the overall and a handshake of congratulations. Round 11 of the 500 World Championship comes to the famous Citadel circuit of Namur here in Belgium. He won, gets underway. Number four, Marcus Hansen sweeps around the inside. Carla Hulsen got stuck on the gate, but it was Hansen. Chris Jacobs going through as they jump through the whoops here. The highly wooded circuit Criticised by a lot of people for its safety expert, but that's Jacobs from Van Leeuwen from Dirk Gherkins, number 20. Then it's Fervin Anstey, but it is Hansen, the man that leads the championship. Gherkins going through. Hansen looks over his shoulder, there's nobody there, hand in the air. That's 20 points. He's won, he won. Second for Dirk Gherkins, number 20. One of his better results of the season. He too got underway, Johan Boone and back after injury, finishing third in the first race. And that's a good ride for him, but you can see the conditions, but Jackie Martins it is from Joel Smets that took the lead. 
in heat two, and then it was Smets, then Martins, but it was Smets that took the win and the 20 points. Second for Jackie Martins, so the two Belgians finishing one and two. And Hansen finished third, but Smets, the winner. Round 12 here in Germany. And this is where the action's really going to hot up. With the riders going for those points that they need to consolidate their positions for 1995. Anstey being led by Christian Vernon. Then it was Martins. Oh, we were having some fun here. Number four, Marcus Hansen chasing that championship. Jorgen Nielsen tried to do it for Sweden last year. He was unable to. But is it going to be Marcus Hansen's year? This is the last round of the series. And some tactics there between Gert van Dorn and Marcus Hansen van Dorn blocking Hansen. Obviously a little bit of team riding, but Hansen found his way past van Dorn in the end. But I can assure you Hansen not happy with those tactics put down upon him by Kurt Jan van Dorn. Martins up there, he needs to win both races. It's just a few points difference. There's Smets, Anstey on the inside. This is the last round. This is the electrifying round. Who's gonna be world 500cc championship, in champion I should say, in 1994-95? There is the potential contender. Been off the bike. Marcus Hansen damaged his helmet, cut his face, but it is Martins that leads. Down the big jumps here. Boonham back after injury, number five. He's got Rossi behind him. There is Marcus Hansen with a lot of track tape wrapped around his rear wheel. Let's hope that doesn't affect the brakes. Jackie Martins takes the win. Joel Smith second. And it's Christian Vernon on the inside. Well, there's a big heap. Who's amongst them? Oh, it's Martins. Van Dorn was there as well. They're even on points, Hansen and Martins. Whoever finishes in front of whom in this last race is world 500cc champion. And at the moment, that looks like it's going to be Hansen. Martins off on that first corner. As they stream through, there is Jackie Martins. Well, this may be the last time we see him with that number one plate. He may well have a two for next year. Mervyn Anstey trying to pick up some extra points to increase his plate position for 95. Hansen. And that was Gherkins riding at Hussenberg. So Dirk Gherkins a change of machinery for the last round, but Hansen. Number four, the Swede, looks very much on target for a world championship, and the Swedish fans are going to go mad. Jackie Martins is catching him up. Martins is closing on the Swede. Level on points. Whoever goes over the line first is the champion. Martins is still closing on him. What a race this is. You couldn't ask for a better last Grand Prix. Hansen and Martins is still there. Still pouring everything he's got into the back wheel of that Husqvarna. But it's Schmetz, Joel Schmetz that leads the race. From Mervyn Anstey, number 12, the British rider. He won one Grand Prix this year in Slovakia. And it's Hansen with a big gap now. There's something wrong with Martins. Martins being urged on, but he's got a problem there with the bike of some kind. But look at the Swedish fans. 
They know the outcome of this. It looks like it's going to be Hansen. And there goes Smets. He wins the last race of the year. Well, we don't need to look back. It's got to be Hansen coming through now. Look at the fans. Marcus Hansen then wins the 1994 World 500cc motocross championship and they are going to be celebrating all over Sweden tonight for sure. Jackie Martins dejected, an ex-champion but he rode so well. But it is Hansen world number one.